Welcome back to the Jatai Academy. I'm Russell Mays, Director of Content. Today we're going to be doing a, an Italian bob. An Italian bob is a, a faster, looser kind of bob, and especially in comparison to the British bob. So I'm going to go through and check and make sure we don't have any calyx in the nape. And then we're going to get started after we shampoo. We're going to take a natural or center part down the center of the head to the crown, to the occipital bone, then from the occipital bone to the mastoid. That's going to set up all the area in the flat part of the head in the back. Now from here, I'm going to go through and I want to take enough hair that I feel like I can take and make a really solid baseline out of. And I'll just keep adding to it until I feel like I have enough to give me a good solid line. After I've done that, we're going to go through and pin that up out of the way. Do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to be using my Jatai Osaka scissor, and this is the five and a half inch version. Now, this is a, a very smooth cutting scissor. The action's very smooth. It's got a good weight to it, so it can cut a fairly decent section. And it's nice and sharp, so I can get a real clean line. And since it's a smaller scissor, I have a lot more control over the tip of the scissor. Now we're going to go through and comb everything down. I'm going to cut the center piece very, very blunt. And I want to get that nice and clean. And the Italian bob goes anywhere from the jawline to the top of the shoulder. That's kind of the, the lengths that we're working with right here. We're going to continue that from the center to the right. Now from here, I'm going to start softening the line up. And I'm going to go through and point cut that baseline through there where the center was cut blunt the edges i'm going to point cut to soften it up so i only want that center section in the middle really solid so that i can build my shape off of that now after we've gone through and we've cut our baseline here i want to get this pretty solid because my next section i'm going to use a razor so if I use a razor on top of a blunt cut line, it will give me a more solid appearing shape, but I can get the texture worked in there with the razor as well. Now I'm going to go through and take the top of the flat section in the nape. I'm going to comb that down and using my feather styling razor, finding my guide, I'm going to comb down and flat blade right across on top of my previously cut section using that as my guide. Now I'm taking a, a razor stroke of probably about an inch because I want to keep the line soft, but I still want a blunt line. So I'm trying to get a balance between really solid and a little bit airy edges. So by using the razor on one section and then this blunt scissor on another section, I can start to vary that kind of length and that texture and change the shape of it internally without having to really go through and do a lot of texturizing in the end. And on finer hair like hers, I think that really lends itself to building a nice solid shape. Continuing up here, I'll take uh, two flat sections of head. I'll section those off here. So I've got the bottom section of that transition section of the parietal ridge. Now we're going to start in the middle. And then with my blunt scissor, my Osaka scissor, I'm going to comb that straight down, point cut that across. So I'm building solid shape on top of softer shape. So it gives me a little bit of versatility and a little bit of, of movement and softness, but still maintaining a solid shape. Click that thumbs up and give us a subscribe if you like what you see. And if you click the notification bell, we'll notify you of future Jatai content. Continuing working from the center out towards the front, I will always start in the middle and then work towards the front. And I always will try to point cut the same way on both sides. So on the left side, I point cut from the center going forward. So on the right side, I'll just switch my hand where my thumb is up and continue that point cutting from the center going towards the front getting a little longer in the front, but not a whole lot. I just want to keep kind of an even length all the way around. Now we're going to take our next section. This is going to be our razor section. So I'll go through and just continue to follow the same pattern that I was working before, having her tilt her chin down a little bit, comb down. And there's my guide, easy to see. 
using a flat blade across the section and just taking a, a, a consistent inch size stroke of the razor across the top of the section and any long pieces just cleaning up, working from the center going forward and keeping that same kind of flat blade across the section so I cut the entirety of the section at the same time. If I was to cut from the center going forward, I'm going to introduce more movement. Whereas if I just lay the blade directly across the section like this, I don't incorporate the movement, but I get a softer edge on the section. I get a little softer cut without the movement being introduced. Continuing on to my next section, now I'm moving into the side. I'll take half of that section, the bottom half, we're using the scissor on. As we get to the side over the ear, I'm going to push that in right under the ear and then continue to point cut my line straight across. Now by pushing in the section under the ear, that gives me a little bit of protection so after it's dry, I can go through and clean that up. If I pull the section down too firmly, then I can have the ear make the hair pop up and give me a little bit of hole in my baseline. Now we're working our razor section and just continuing the same thing I was doing before. Check out all of our social media at Jatai Feather. So this, this haircut is very you know fundamental in that I'm just cutting everything one length, but it's not fundamental in the application and also the texture that I'm getting. The texture is going to be a lot looser, a lot more movement introduced than if I was to just cut everything with a straight scissor. So by alternating the cutting method for each section, I can get a really nice interesting shape. And to me, Italian hair always had this a lot of movement, very pretty, kind of romantic, you know, voluminous hair. And, and I think that this is very fitting for that, that shape. Now we're going to go through and blow it dry, get everything nice and smooth and blow and dry the roots first to get that full off the scalp. And then we're going to go through with a little round brush just to polish it off. And then we'll just shake it out and see how it goes. But I think this is looking pretty good. She had some uh, layering around the front already that I didn't cut. I just left it the way that it was. So we're going to feather her bangs out. Check out the Jatai Academy. There's all kinds of great content on there. Let us know what you'd like to see in the future. And we will see you next time.